Hi, I'm Craig Summers, naturopath and nutritionist, here today to talk about essential fatty acids, namely the omega-3 and more specifically the EPA and DHA. Many of us already know that most of us are deficient in omega-3 fatty acids. And when we go into a health food store and ask for omega-3 supplement, generally we're pointed towards the fish oil pills. I don't believe that the fish oil pills are the best choice. So I'm here to tell you what the facts are as far as uh, omega-3s, EPA, and DHA. All fats on this planet form when sunlight hits the green plant. It's called photosynthesis. Factory farmed fish contain no omega-3 fatty acids. They're only in fish that has been living in the wild because the omega-3 fatty acids form in the algae and move into the fish and up the food chain to the larger fish from the smaller fish. So for instance, factory farmed fish, zero omega-3s because they're fed kind of leftover grains and uh, there's no algae in that containing the omega-3 fatty acids. So there's a word called bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation simply means the buildup of toxins, heavy metals, PCBs, dioxins, and other chemicals in the fatty tissues of animals. We know that this is a problem with ocean-going fish. I've been working with a laboratory since 1997 doing mineral analysis. And when I find people who eat a lot of fish, they're particularly high in mercury, like this person right here in the unsafe range. Most people are getting mercury from the fish that they eat. And even the fish oil supplements are allowed to contain traces amount of mercury and other heavy metals. So the United States government actually allows a certain amount of these heavy metals and chemicals to be in the fish oil pills that are sold on the market. The European government is a little bit more strict and they have stricter standards. They allow less of these heavy metals and toxins in the fish oil supplements sold. But remember, we're animals too. So we continually take those fish oil supplements day in and day out. And those chemicals bioaccumulate in our bodies, eventually causing us some type of a symptom, which might end you up at a doctor or a naturopath's office. And if the doctor does do a heavy metal test on you, which most medical doctors do not, you'll probably end up seeing that you're high in heavy metals like I just showed you on that chart. So how do we get our uh, EPA and DHA if we don't take the fish oil supplements? Well, remember I spoke about all these fats coming from photosynthesis. It's the algae. There are strains of algae that are very high in DHA and some even have high amounts of EPA. And one of the companies that are doing this is a company called Deva Nutrition. And you could also find it in uh, Udo's products. He has a veggie oil cap that is algae oil. It's a high DHA. And this product here, um, coming from Deva Nutrition, is a strain of algae that's very high in DHA. It comes in both liquid or in a veggie cap. This one's in terracoted. So it releases once it gets into the small intestines, so you don't actually taste any of that fishy taste in, in your stomach. You don't burp it up. But more importantly, these products are free of heavy metals, PCBs, and dioxins. You can look at the certificate of analysis, and you'll see on here cadmium, lead, arsenic, mercury, all zero. And because they grow this particular species of algae, which is high in DHA, indoors, they can control the water that it's in. So there aren't any PCBs or dioxin. That's something that's occurring out in the oceans. So completely free of all these different chemicals, really clean sources of DHA. Uh, this company also has one that's a DHA EPA mix. And this is basically the way it works if you're not taking these supplements. Um, if you consume foods that are high in omega-3s, such as hemp seed or chia seeds, which these are my two favorite sources of omega-3 fatty acids, our body will take the omega-3s 
in these foods. And with the help of an enzyme called delta-6 desaturase, and then coenzymes such as magnesium, zinc, some B vitamins, vitamin C, will change the omega-3s in these plant foods into EPA and then into DHA as needed by the body. You see, our brains need a lot of omega-3 fatty acids. They need about half omega-3 and half omega-6. And some people say that our brains could be as much as 80% fat, which is actually really a good thing if you're a fat head. <laughs> and our eyes also. It's very important that our eyes get enough DHA. And pretty much every cell in our body needs the omega-3 fatty acids for the cellular membranes. If you want your cellular membranes to be strong, you have to get enough of these omega-3 fatty acids. Top research facilities around the world have done studies on humans to see what the proper ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids in our body should be. And places like research facilities in Japan and others are saying we should have between three and four omega-6s for every one omega-3. But what they're finding with people on the standard diet or the standard American diet, also known as SAD, is that most people have about 20 omega-6s to one omega-3. So we're severely deficient in omega-3 fatty acids as a society. And I was also very deficient years ago. I started to take flaxseed oil and noticed that my dry skin that I had my whole life went away. My lips weren't cracking anymore. My skin became silky smooth. My brain started to work better, my eyes, everything just started to function better in my body when I got those omega-3 fatty acids. Now, one more thing I want to mention about these uh, fish oil supplements is some people are promoting krill oil supplements. And while they do show on laboratory tests to be lower in mercury and other heavy metals, uh, there's one exception. The krill oil that I heard was recently analyzed by laboratories found to be many, many times higher in arsenic than fish oil. So, you know, we have all these heavy metals that are making us sick showing up in the fish oil and the krill oil. Why bother taking any of that stuff? And to me, it's a no-brainer. Just go with the algae oil, get those omega-3s already in the form that we need, or consume the plants that have it, like the hemp and the chia, and make sure your body is getting enough of the B vitamins, vitamin C, the minerals, zinc, and magnesium. Your body will convert it as needed. And you'll find that you'll feel a lot better, you'll be a lot healthier, and uh, when you're healthy, you're happy. So, hope you enjoyed and learned something. Thanks for listening.